Today we're talking with John Garcia from Atlantic Golf and Turf. We're in the middle of a, of a monsoonal season, the middle of July, probably breaking records for Connecticut, and we are seeing disease issues, some of which we consider preventable. Uh, one in particular, Pythium Blight, we're struggling with. Uh, one of the strategies I've used and golf course superintendents have used is applying things like phosphites or uh, fight. Uh, what can you tell us about that, John? Yeah, so the phosphite materials have been around uh, since about the 1970s. They started getting used in golf and been very, very um, successful at, at um, slowing down the onset of a couple of very specific diseases, most namely being um, Pythium blight. Phosphites are very, very interesting. Just to kind of give a, a quick little outline, you know, people hear that word and they think phosphate and phosphate fertilizers have been, of course, banned in lawn care use in Connecticut for a while. Phosphite is, is, is actually a, a derivative of that where there's actually an oxygen molecule removed, so it's PO3. And it has very, very unique fungicidal properties. Um, it, it actually works in two different ways in the plant. Uh, what happens is that um, it's the only fungicide that will actually will enter the plant and it can move up in the plant as well as down in the plant. Every other fungicide on the market enters the plant and can only go up through the xylem. Um, so phosphites can actually move both ways. So it gives you full plant protection. Um, now, what happens is there is a direct fungicidal property to phosphites when they're applied to grass. So you will actually get uh, not the killing of the fungal spores, but it inhibits them from being able to grow and expand. Part two of what happens with a phosphite is it actually initiates inside the plant um, an ISR response. So it actually triggers the plant to feel like it's under attack from a fungal pathogen before the fungal pathogen is present. Okay. And what that does is it, um, it makes the plant uh, create some proteins and enzymes and, and other compounds inside the plant um, that say, hey, we're under attack here and we need to so, slow down our, our metabolism and not allow this fungus in. So it's kind of like a vaccine. In a, in a lot of ways, it's like a vaccine. It's oh, a, ver cool. a very, very good way of putting it. Now, like vaccines, here's one thing with phosphites, right? Like vaccines, uh, they really don't have a curative effect on, okay. on, on pythium or, or the other diseases. They need to be introduced um, as a preventative measure. Okay. Having said that, um, you know, there, there's really no wrong time to start a phosphite um, um, application okay. protocol. Uh, because in the summertime, we can have disease kind of coming at us at all different waves. As long as the weather supports it, it keeps coming. Exactly, yeah. Perfect. And phosphites, it's not like a one and done. That's the other yeah. thing. Uh, with phosphite materials, you have to reapply them uh, when, you're, when you're in uh, the, the weather conditions that favor particularly Pythium. You have to reapply those materials every 21 to 28 days to really be effective uh, at, at, at limiting the disease. The other thing I would mention real quick is that uh, they do work really well synergistically with other materials like methanoxum. Yeah, okay. um, That's how we're uh, treating for active pythium right now is yeah, the, with, the, with the two combined. That's great because methanoxum, um, although it is a true fungicide and it's going to stop the disease spores that are present at the time and kill them, um, that's great. The problem with methanoxum, it's very short lived. So it's only around in the environment for somewhere between three and seven days. Seven's really kind of a stretch. So by doing the methanoxum, you're getting that immediate setback on the pythium spores. And then adding the phosphite material in there, you're getting that longevity of some preventative control from the disease being able to, re to, to come back. So you yeah, guys are doing a good job yeah, with one, that. One, two punch. You got it.